Hey guys, it's Cam and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and a fellow beauty lover like I am and into all things hair, makeup, and skincare, then come on and join the Cam fam by hitting that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. So am I the only one when it's my birthday that turns the whole month basically into a big birthday celebration? Well, that's exactly what happened in August. It was my birthday, and so we did all sorts of crazy things. We went to the American Dream Mall in New Jersey. They have like an indoor water park and theme park, and it was nuts. I've never seen anything like that. I also did a spa day. I feel like the whole month you just kind of go, oh, it's close to my birthday, so I'm gonna treat myself. Well, so that's exactly what happened all month. And that's kind of the theme of this video. We're doing like a really glam birthday look. Obviously, this is exactly what I wore to the water park. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. But this is very similar to what I wore to like a birthday dinner. And you can really use this look for any special occasion where you want all eyes to be on you because this is really gonna be attention grabbing, super glam makeup. And the products I'm using today are off of the US Look Fantastic website. This video is actually sponsored by Look Fantastic, so thank you so much to them. So I'm gonna link all of the products that I used today in the description box below, and you can use my code CAM22 to get 22% off of all of these goodies. And I'm gonna be using a really nice mix of drugstore and high-end stuff, so let's just get into it. First up for foundation, I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. I have this in the shade Fair Light, and I actually, for really glam looks, find that a really like sheer, dewy foundation like this makes it look like you're not wearing as much makeup as you really are. I know a lot of people for really glam looks jump straight into full coverage foundation, but I feel like using something that's a little sheer and more glowy just makes everything look more natural. So I love this foundation because it's so hydrating. It actually does provide a good deal of coverage. You guys are gonna see in a second, but it's super dewy and just like so hydrating for your skin. If you have dry skin like I do, I actually have combination skin and this doesn't get super oily on my nose and chin, which I like, then you really need to try this because it's so, so hydrating. So I'm gonna apply some all over, mostly at the center of my face because that's where I have all my redness. I have rosacea, so it's a struggle. <laughs> and this does have coconut milk and aloe extract. And I'm gonna apply this with a brush. With really sheer foundations, you want to use a brush instead of like a sponge because it's gonna give you the most amount of coverage out of them. Mm, and it smells really good too. It actually smells like coconut milk. So it looks really white at first, and then it kind of like adjusts as you blend it out into your skin tone. So don't be alarmed when you put it on and you're like, ah, it's really white. And with just two coats, it took like all my redness away, but it still feels like nothing on the skin and it looks like nothing on the skin. So I love this, especially for summer when you don't wanna be like really cakey and wearing heavy makeup. This just makes your skin look so good. So I got a little ahead of myself and forgot to show you guys, but I used my Tarte Shape Tape just to add a little coverage underneath my eyes and on my lids. And I just did my nose contour with my Huda Beauty Tantor. So since I'm done with cream products, I'm gonna set everything with powder, and I'm using my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. And then for brows, it's just the usual, my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I just fill them in like a little bit. Now I'm just gonna bronze up and contour a little bit and I'm using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. Thank you. 
Next up we have blush and I actually love the CoverGirl blushes. This is the CoverGirl Cheekers blush and this shade, it's called Pink Candy. It is like the cutest cool pink toned like Barbie blush. Oh, it just makes your skin like glow. It really stands out and just makes you look angelic. I love it. So I'm going to apply that, blending it like into my contour. And so for highlight, I'm using this Pixi Glowy Gossamer Duo. This is in the shade Subtle Sunrise. And I love this because there's like a champagne-y side and a more peachy pink side. So I'm going to mix both of them. And it just gives you such a nice glow. Oh. Even though it's a powder, it really looks like lit from within and it blends into the blush so nicely so it doesn't look like super obvious highlight. I really like this peachy side because it gives you that shimmer that like shimmery blushes do. So you can totally make your blush into like a shimmery blush with it. It looks so like lit from within, I just love it. Okay, so now that my face is done, as I was saying. I'm gonna mist myself with the Iconic London Prep Set Glow. I love this stuff, especially for a special occasion if you just wanna look glowy. Oh, it's so amazing. Obviously don't open your mouth like I did. <laughs> now moving on to the eyes, and I really wanted to do something with like my signature pink and gold colors. I love doing like pink gold eye looks. And so most of the eye look, I'm using the Lime Crime Venus XL Eyeshadow Palette. If you guys haven't seen this palette, just wait. It's like, ah, isn't this gorgeous? It is a pink dream. I love these shades and I love this brand. Their eyeshadows are so blendable, just so amazing. Oh my goodness. And we're gonna get like really deep and smoky, but it's gonna be so easy and so blendable with this. So for the crease, I'm gonna mix the shades Scallop and Goddess to create like a nice pinky base. And I'm using an M441 brush. These eyeshadows are just so silky and buildable. And this is just gonna be a really nice pink toned transition color. Next I'm grabbing the shade Triumph and I'm using my M433 brush and I'm gonna start building this up in the outer V. I'm also gonna run it through the crease a little lower just to add a little more depth because I have hooded eyes. And then I'm dipping into the shade Botticelli to deepen up like the very outer corner. And I'm using a very small M456 brush for this. It's like perfect for really dark deep shades. I'm almost like angling it up to try to like lift the eye. Then I'm taking that same deep shade Botticelli on an M508 brush and I'm gonna smudge it along the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna blend it out with the shade Goddess and an M506 brush. For the rest of the eye look, I'm switching over to the Makeup Revolution Affection Reloaded palette. So this palette is all shimmers, but there's a lot of really nice golds in here, and that's exactly what I need for the rest of the look. So I'm going to pick up this shade right here, it's just called Number One, and I'm using a MAC 242 brush to place that basically on the inner half of the lid. 
And then I'm gonna pick up this bottom shade. I believe it's called 11. They don't have like actual names. And I'm gonna use that as my inner corner highlight. And I'm also gonna apply it on the brow bone. And then I want to deepen up the top lash line and line it a little bit, but I want to keep it very smoky and not go into any liners. So I'm going to use this gorgeous, like shimmery, sparkly black that comes in the palette. I think it's number 10. And I'm just using a very small angled brush and lining the inner half of my eye. And then in the outer half, I'm also going to line it. But I'm going to start like building it up into this burgundy kind of. Almost like with the side of the liner brush. And really smoking it out. You almost want to just like fade the liner into the eyeshadow. And now I just want to add the tiniest bit of like shimmer and glitter to this look. So I'm using the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow and this is in the shade Rock and Rose, which is such a pretty like rose gold, so it's really going to tie everything in together. It's like a duochrome basically. So what I want to do is not disturb that liner and just apply this to like the very center of the lid. bringing it towards the inner corner. And then in the outer corner here, you want to blend it with your finger. And that just like blurs the line and just gives like the prettiest effect. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then I'm just going to let that dry. So next I'm going to use the CoverGirl Ink It Eyeliner. This is like a gel pencil eyeliner, which is so good for the waterline. It doesn't budge from your waterline, but it's also really easy to take off with makeup remover. And so I'm going to apply this to my bottom and top waterlines. So I still had to put my face like two inches from the mirror to do that. But this eyeliner is like one of the most comfortable ones to put in your waterline that I found. So for mascara, I'm using the CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion Mascara. And I love the bristles on these because it really separates your lashes. I have like lashes that want to notoriously clump. And this mascara really helps both lengthen and volumize your lashes. So if you don't want to wear any falsies, then this is an amazing mascara. And so now for lips, this is probably like my favorite product of them all, bar none. This is the Lime Crime Wet Cherry Lip Gloss. It's in the shade Juicy Cherry. And if you haven't tried these, just, just wait. So I'm just going to apply it first and let it speak for itself. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so if you love glitter and glittery lip glosses, not only does this just like absolutely feel amazing on the lips and it smells like cherries, but the glitter in this is just unreal. It just gives you that like glittery Instagram pout, but you can't feel the glitter at all. Oh, I'm obsessed. This is like the best for a glam look. Oh my goodness. All right, so you can totally finish off the look right there. And because of this mascara, I'm like half tempted not to put on lashes. I actually really like the way this made my lashes look. But considering I wear false eyelashes on an everyday basis, I just like don't feel like myself without them. So I'm just going to go pop on a pair and I'll be right back to show you guys the finished look. Okay guys, so here's the finished look. So that's it. Here's my super glam, glowy birthday party look. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then make sure to hit that like button down below for me because it really helps my small channel grow. And again, most of these products are going to be listed down below in the description box and you can use my code CAM22 to get them for 22% off the US Look Fantastic site. And if you're wondering what you should watch next, then you might like one of these two videos. And if you haven't already, then definitely click on my face right here to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, my loves, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.